When I think of him uh, leaving Crete with his, uh, with his brother's boots on and going to Canada and raising his family, uh, I, I really am filled with admiration because I don't know how he did it. I don't really don't know how he did it and survived at all. Um, and to take that one step further, when I think that my father was in the mountains of Crete uh, in those circumstances, and I, not that many years later, am singing on all the great operatic stages of the world, Metropolitan Opera, etc., etc., that's very hard sometimes to, all the time, to justify in my mind, because it's such an extreme. My mother was brought over by her brothers to come to the United States. They had then, uh, they had um, done what we call a proxenia. They had found her a groom and were going to marry her off. And they happened to know my father's brothers that brought him over. And they asked these brothers if uh, they would mind if my mother came into Canada and stayed in their home. Uh, until they could then bring her into the United States. As a matter of fact, I think the man would have had to go to Canada to marry her to bring her into the States. And uh, they agreed to do this. And uh, my mother arrived in Canada um, total, to total strangers and was staying in the home of my father's brother. You know, all Greek stories sound like my father's brother's uncle's <laughs> sister because everyone's related. And yeah, so she was staying with my father's brother and his wife. And this man that was supposed to marry her came to Canada and saw her. And he was an old man. He was a very, very old man. And my mother was like extremely young in her teens. And on top of it, as the story goes, I think he was a vegetarian. And he was saying, you know, and uh, in my house you can't eat meat, and da 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 and uh, this is this, and he was laying down the rules. And he left <clears throat> that evening and went to his hotel room, and my mother cried and cried. And uh, my father said, uh, don't worry, I'll marry you, we'll go away, I love you. And when she broke down and sobbed, he rescued the situation.
Was there music in the house? I mean, where... Did... Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. There was a lot of music in the house. Um, the Greeks sing and dance a lot and break plates and all those things that one hears about the Greeks, uh, they're all true. We do break plates. They're not... We, when we break them, it isn't all so wonderful like in Zorba the Greek when everybody's smiling breaking the plates. Sometimes at the end of a heated evening of dance and song, uh, one is breaking things for other reasons. It's that whatever frustrations that one has danced out or sung out or happiness that one is expressing uh, sometimes goes to a more pitched... The Cretans have uh, songs that are typical only of Crete. And there you see, I, I come from a house of music and poetry because the Cretans' songs are couplets. They're very, really beautiful poetry and they're set to <clears throat> a certain melodic line and they're made up, they're called mandinades. And uh, one person sits there and makes up the poetry and uh, the other people in the room, the relatives and the friends, um, repeat the line. I'll give you an example, and it's oh, it's typical only of uh, Crete. And uh, you must remember that from very very little, I was brought up on this kind of poetry or this kind of music. <clears throat> I have to think think back. Πότε σου μην ξεχνάς τα πρώτα σκαλοπάτια And then everyone says Έλα, έλα τα πρώτα σκαλοπάτια Γιατί, γιατί σ' αυτά πρωτοπατείς και μπαίνεις στα παλάτια Γιατί σ' αυτά πρωτοπατείς και μπαίνεις στα παλάτια Έλα, έλα και μπαίνεις στα παλάτια goes on and on and then the next person will continue on from there uh, taking perhaps that theme and giving an answer and saying ah but what does that mean that, that means uh, very hard to translate because there are many meanings to some of the words don't ever forget your first steps because on those first steps you walk and enter into your castles, paradises, or goals. In other words, don't forget your origins because they're your foundations and they're leading you to the better. But I can't really translate it. It's beautiful poetry. Let's hold on to tradition, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they had a lot of, you know, they touched on different themes yeah. in the course of meeting love, hate, uh, revenge, uh, death. Yeah. And then, of course, we danced a lot. We did the Cretan dances and the Greek dances. Part of our life centered around what was happening at the Greek community, and we were also active members of what was happening. We children went to Sunday school and to Greek school. In the evenings, and uh, my mother was a member of uh, the Philoptos, which is the ladies' organization. So and and we went to the Greek dances, and we marched in the Greek parades, and uh, I sang at. Uh, I mean, my first uh, sort of first appearances were singing at all those Greek functions. <laughs> I mean, it was, I, I remember it's very interesting right from the beginning that it always was hell to get up and perform in front of an audience. I mean, even as a small child, I remember if we went to someone's home, being absolutely terrified all evening, all that loomed in my mind was, oh, someone might ask me to sing. And I would sit there and prepare myself the whole evening in case someone asked me to sing. And sure enough, I was usually asked to sing. And I was always relieved that people enjoyed it after. 